Hello, it's me, Steady Eddie from the YouTube. Yes, me, Steady Eddie. Who else could it be but Steady Eddie on the YouTube? And I know what you're thinking. I've been dying in PvP loads. I've been dying. Oh no, what's, ga what's happen gonna happen in PvP this patch, Steady? What's gonna happen? Don't worry, I'm here. I'm here. I'm a B tier PvP. -er. Everyone knows it. And I'm gonna give you some B tier advice. No, it's gonna be good advice. It's gonna be good advice. Come on, don't undersell yourself, Steady Eddie. You can do this. Today, I wanted to make a video with some tips and advice, mainly about builds, but also about play styles and sort of what this Ascending Tide patch will be like for PvP. So this patch has seen the hybridization of skills be implemented, which means that almost every single skill will scale off the higher out of your weapon or spell damage, no matter if it costs magicka or stamina or whatever the skill is. And I thought this would change more than it has build-wise. However, because of sustain reasons and also some imbalances between Magicka and Stamina. Basically the better out of Magicka or Stamina for every class it has kind of swallowed up the other. For example, Mag DK is way stronger than Stam DK, so if you take the sort of logical, mathematical steps towards creating a good DK build, the best DK build, the most sort of uh, statistically dense DK build, you basically end up with a Mag DK. And this has kind of happened for almost every single class. It doesn't mean that Stam DK isn't viable, and you can obviously play Stam DK, but the point is that if you make the strongest DK setup, taking into account the hybridization, it will pretty much just be a Mag DK. So the hybridization build-wise hasn't changed that much. However, it has given access to burst heals and restoration staffs for stam builds, which means cross healing has pretty much just gone even more through the roof. The main thing I've noticed about this patch is that people are clutching like you've never seen them clutch before, getting to like 1%, 2% health, but then saving themselves either with the cross healing from their friends or hybridized burst heals and just getting back up to 100% HP in like seconds, less than seconds. The thing with this patch is that healing is super high, but also so is damage, and also so is sustain, and in some cases also so is mitigation. There has been a power creep over the last year or so, where it's so easy to access everything you need for a super strong PvP build without making any sacrifices. It used to be that, wait, hang on. Back in my day, you used to have to make sacrifices. If you were tanky, you might have less damage if you had lots of damage. You might have less sustain. The kids these days have it all. They don't need to think about anything. Just have damage, sustain, mitigation, everything all the time. Dear, oh dear. Anyway. This has sort of led to health bars being all over the place, dipping down, going back up again so quickly. This patch is the kind of patch you might get lucky kills on people you've never been able to kill before. And equally, others that have never been able to kill you might be able to get lucky kills on you. I'm also going to say something that I don't think should be controversial at this point, but I think it might be controversial. I think 1vx is dead this patch. I know, I know. You're still gonna see 1VXs. You're still gonna see 1VX videos. You might even get 1VXs yourself. I know I've got a couple 1V3s and 1V4s already. Nothing grand, but I'm just really good. Um, <laughs> no, I'm joking. The thing is that it's so reliant on the enemies being bad this patch, rather than the 1VX player being good. This has always been the case to an extent, but this patch I think is more extreme than ever before. Because cross healing is so strong, and because every class has access to ridiculous heals, ridiculous sustain, ridiculous damage, apart from Magdan of course, often when you go to kill someone, the amount of power a group has means it's going to be borderline impossible to finish them off on your own. Having said that, small scale is potentially stronger than ever before. Because of sets like Dark Convergence and Plague Break, along with the increased cross healing, a group of four can be super effective against way bigger groups. I've personally been playing in a group of three to four a lot more this patch, and it's way more fun than the pure suffering I get while playing solo. Now, I have an admission. I have changed my Stamplar build since I released my Stamplar build video. I know, I know. I don't care! I don't care! 
The good news is I've not changed it that much. In fact, I'm using all the same sets, all the same traits, everything. But instead of a bow, I'm using a sword and board back bar. And I've also swapped Honor the Dead out for Rally, as well as Shuffle for Elude. This is how Asaius runs the build, and you can check his build video down in the description. These are minor changes, but it changes how the build plays massively, because it basically becomes a brawler. Because of the power creep, because you can have so much healing and sustain while also maintaining the damage, I think brawler type builds are going to be very prominent this patch. This Stamplar build is so tanky, yet I'm still able to pull off massive damage with Mechanical Acuity and Balorg, and most classes are going to be the same. They're going to be able to just brawl but still put out massive damage. So there's not much point in building Squishy when you can be so tanky and keep pretty much the same damage output. So basically to synopsize what this patch is like, everyone is a fat tank this patch. Play a brawler and don't make yourself suffer by playing solo. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments. I hope this video has been useful as a sort of synopsis and a bit of a, maybe for your console players, it might be helpful because you're just starting the patch and I've been playing now for two weeks. Um, but this is sort of a heads up on what this patch is gonna be like. And I will see you in the next video. Like and subscribe, please. Please, I need you to like and subscribe, please. I'm begging you, I'm begging you.